Hey guys, welcome to another video. And today, as promised, we're looking at calculations in momentum, right? So we're going to actually just look at two questions, one for elastic and one for inelastic collision. So let's go, all right? So question one, a truck of mass, 1,550 kilograms, is moving to the right at 30 meters per second. It collides with a car of mass, 600 kilogram, moving 15 meters per second in the same direction. If they both stick together, calculate the velocity that they move off with. All right. So with every momentum question, the first thing that you have to know, if it's a collision, is what type of collision it is. All right. So based on this, that it states that it stick together, then that means it is inelastic, right? So it's an inelastic collision. And normally I love to actually sketch a little diagram to show based on the question, to make life easy. So let's start, we have a ball here, so let's call it the truck, right? It's moving to the right. So the truck has a 3,000, 1,350 kilogram. It's moving at 30 meters per second. It collides with a smaller car, all right, of mass 650, and it's moving 15 meters per second. After the truck and the car moves off with a V, all right. So based on what the question gave us, that is what we get. So both move in the same direction. After collision, they stick and move off. So we need to find what that velocity is, right? So let's go. So the first thing that we start by saying is that the sum of momentum before is equal to sum of momentum after. So before we had two objects, two separate objects. So that's the mass of the truck times the velocity of the truck. And remember, it's going to the right. So anything going to the right is a positive velocity, right? Plus the mass of the car times the velocity of the car also going to the right. Equals, because they stick together, then now we add the mass of the truck and the mass of the car multiplied by the common velocity V. Right? So let's substitute. So the mass of the truck is 1550 times Vt is 30 plus mass of the car, 650 times 15 equals, right, one multiplied by V, right? So let's see what that is. So when we multiply 1,350 1, times 30, we get 40,000 feet. 500, the one, 650 times 15, we get 9,750. We add these two, 1,350 and 650, we get 2,000 multiplied by V, so we get V, right? We add these two, right? So we get 50,250 equals 2,000 V. So we divide now by V because we want to get V. We divide by 2,000 because we want to get what V is, so 2,000. All right, so we get 25.13 meters per second, all right? So again, the positive V here symbolizes that they both move to the, to the right, okay? So if the question had asked what direction would it travel, then it would be to the, to the right because it's a positive velocity that we receive from the question, all right? So let's go to question two. All right, so question two. A black ball of mass, 0.25 kilogram, hits a white ball of the same mass. If the white ball was stationary and the black ball moves to the right at 3.5 meters, calculate the velocity of the white ball after collision if the black ball moved 2 meters per second in the opposite direction. Alright, so again, the first thing that we do is to determine what type of collision it is. Alright, so... The last part normally tells us, right? So it says that the black ball moved off, right? And we need to find what the white ball moved off with. 
right? So because the black ball has a velocity and the white ball has a, oh, its own velocity, then that means this is elastic collision, right? So because it's elastic, let's draw the diagram to show, right? So we have the black ball called D moving to the right. So the black ball is 0 0.25 kilograms. Moving to the right with 3.5 meters per second. It goes with the white ball that is stationary. So this is 0 meters per second, right? Same mass. And then after collision, the black ball moved to the opposite direction. So if it was going to the right, opposite direction means you're going to the left, right? So that 2 meters per second, right? So this is our black ball. And then the white ball, we don't know what the direction is, right? So we're going to say it, go, it went to the right, right? And we need to find what this is. Right? So now we can see that the total momentum before is equal to total momentum after. And before we had two, right? So it is MB times BB, because B is going to the right, plus MW. Vw is zero, so it's multiplied by zero because it's stationary, right? After mb now, velocity is going to the left, so it now has a negative velocity plus mw times v. All right, so let's put in our numbers. So this is 0 0.25 times 3.5 plus zero equal 0 0.25 times negative 2 plus 0 0.25 v. All right, and that gives us, all right, so when we multiply 0 0.25 times 3.5, we get 0 0.7, 0 0.875. Remember, this is 0, and then 0 0.25 times 2 is negative 0 0.50 plus 0 0.25 V. All right, so we take this over now, so negative becomes positive. So we add, so we get 1.375 equals 0 0.25 V. So we need V, so we divide by 0 0.25 from both sides. So we get the velocity of the next ball to be 5.5 meters per second. All right, guys. So with every momentum question, it's the same process that will be used right throughout, right? So if it's elastic or inelastic, the same process apply. The only problem that students normally have is not remembering your negative when it's actually going to the left or going down. So that's important, guys, that if it's going to the left, you put a negative. If it's going down, you also put a negative, all right? So thank you very much for watching today, guys. Hope you understand and learned something new today. See you next time.